Plus, getting rid of cellulite gets a lot easier. What is mesotherapy? Well, they say it's the latest way to melt away fat and cellulite with injections instead of surgery or liposuction, but it is not without controversy. It's through mesotherapy, and it's being done right here in South Florida. Diana Gonzalez shows us how it works. Like most women, Carlene Linton is bothered by the dimply cottage cheese look of her thighs. I had gained weight, so I had a lot of cellulite. And the backs of my thighs look terrible if in a swimsuit. Carlene read about Dr. Lionel Bassoon, the so called guru of mesotherapy. It's a medical specialty in France, but a controversial practice in the U.S., growing in popularity. He claims this is the only medical treatment available to treat cellulite. Mesotherapy involves combining several medications and plant extracts, then injecting them into the layer of fat right underneath the skin to target the causes of cellulite. With the mesotherapy solutions, we use solutions to break down the fat, to repair the connective tissue, and to increase circulation. Some of those solutions are medications approved to treat lung problems. The cosmetic use of these drugs is coming under fire. In a policy statement, the American Society of Plastic Surgeons says it does not endorse mesotherapy, saying further research into the safety and efficacy is needed. It is important to note that the FDA has not approved any medications for use in mesotherapy or body contouring. The president of the American Society for Dermatologic Surgery says patients would be better to have liposuction with local anesthesia rather than have a series of injections which may be unsafe, may not work, and are not regulated. And I don't think they understand the physiology of cellulite and how it happens and what we're doing. They just assume mesotherapists are taking these formulas, randomly mixing stuff up, and injecting it into people. But there's science that goes into this. A recent mesotherapy study by two plastic surgeons looked at 40 patients who got five weekly treatments, then monthly maintenance. Researchers report the appearance of cellulite was dramatically reduced. There were no major complications, but minor complications include temporary rash and localized infection. Well, I went down a dr one dr whole dress size uh, in my abdomen because of this. Miami dermatologist Dr. Majula Jagasothi was so intrigued by mesotherapy, she tried it on herself, using a drug not allowed in England or the U.S. Despite her personal experience, she says she won't use it in her practice. As, as physicians, we have to be guardians of these new procedures that sound really great because most of my patients would try it without FDA approval, and I'm really a little bit hesitant to do that. Regardless of all the controversy surrounding mesotherapy, Carlene says other than bruising and itching, she's had no real problems and likes the results. My friends have noticed a difference and they wonder if I'm using creams and this and that and I tell them it's mesotherapy, but you know, if they want to do it, they can do it. If mm -hmm. they don't, they don't. Mesotherapy can be costly. Dr. Bassoon charges $500 per session and says usually 10 to 15 are needed. He also cautions this treatment needs to be administered by a licensed physician because there is a risk of infection. Diana Gonzalez, NBC6.